It came out that, yep, Marcia has an aneurysm and you know, she's gonna go back for surgery. That's when it became real. I think you, you immediately think, I'm gonna die. It became real, because um, then you don't know. We were all meeting downtown Grand Rapids to run the Irish jig. I have to find Connor and Reagan, my son, and, and Marsha's daughter. They're, they're 14. You know, my boss just looked right at me and he said, no, you know, stop. I need you to stay with me. We've called the team in. Everybody's on their way. Everybody's looking at your scans right now. And we're going to take care of this. And so I just said, OK. I just kept reassuring Reagan and Connor that things would be OK. And you know, I looked in the back seat. They were just holding hands, looking at each other as we rushed to the unknown. My main concern was just getting to see them and also just making sure that they were okay, you know, letting them know that it was gonna be okay. And seeing Marsha just kind of curled up in this bed, she looked so small, and it was clear she was in so much pain. I don't really remember a lot from that first day because it ended up being a very long case. We had amazing team of professionals at Metro that understood that we needed to know the medical what is going on, but that our family also needed someone to hold our hand. 